Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while and I do apologize for that. It just seems like every year around Christmas time something, I don't know, awful happens. And this last year was no exception. I don't want to get into too much detail but uh, I might do a post um, in the community tab later on explaining everything that well, uh, what happened but long story short um, we tragically lost my mother-in-law it was very fast and unexpected and um, yeah so we were kind of preoccupied for a few weeks um, and I had so really wanted to do vlogmas and I was motivated and I really wanted to do one every day but then we were just in the hospital every day and um, yeah it just ended up not happening and anyways that's what has happened here and I didn't really didn't know how to come back I didn't want to wait as long as last year so I wanted already to make a video yesterday and I really had to um, <laughs> force myself because I honestly did not know what to talk about so I guess I'm just going to talk off the top of my head today because I've been feeling very unmotivated in pretty much every part of everything right now a little bit overwhelmed we still have our Christmas tree up <laughs> we didn't manage to take down pretty much all of our other Christmas decorations um, except for some few hanging ornaments and my snow globe and the Christmas tree um, but mm, merry belated Christmas everyone I hope you all had a really good Christmas um, even with everything that was going on at the time um, we were able to still have a, a fairly okay Christmas and yeah, I was able to keep within my budget of $300 I did all my Christmas shopping <laughs> this is going to sound a little funny but I did it all at the dollar store and obviously the liquor mart and the and then I, I did a, some DIYs not as many as I wanted to because again um, our plans kind of got sidetracked um, but yeah I'd, we were able to still have a good Christmas and I mean at the time when we were celebrating Christmas there was an empty spot still she was still alive at this point but not with us so it was a little bit um, like having you know I don't know some kind of shadow or a, just something missing but we were still able to have fun but moving on um i hope you all had a wonderful christmas and a wonderful new year's and if you are went through anything i my heart goes out to you as well and um i'm hoping that for this new year that we can all you know live with lots of love in our hearts and remember that um, life is sh very short and we never know how much days we have so I was actually reading these books by the extreme cheapskate I'm I got all his books now <laughs> and they are absolutely fantastic I will reread them um, there was something that he said in one of them that uh, time you is our most valuable resource money we can always remake but our time we can never get that back and we only have so much time on this planet so as not to waste it spend it with your loved ones and you know I mean I think for myself too I really have to pick and choose what is the best way to divide my time if something is it really worth it like to save just a few pennies right so 
um, in your frugal living journey, you really have to decipher if you have that extra time to do um, those extra things to save you those extra pennies, by all means, do it. And my mother-in-law, she, she was an amazing lady, and she was a stay-at-home mom for basically since the day her first child was born, and she never went back to work. And But everything she did, she kept a clean house, she cooked, and she made things, she sewed, and made all kinds of things like my house is full of her everywhere everywhere is her because of all the things that she made um for me and i mean those are things that you really uh, and then the times that we spent together um yeah i don't know where i'm going with that really but that was also part of her funeral too the the pastor was saying how, you know, our time, again, is our most valuable resource, and she really showed with everything that she did, all of her, her Sunday, they had Sunday dinners every Sunday without fail, and she spent, you know, always two days cooking for them, like um, prepping one day and then cooking one day for everyone, and and everything that she made, you can tell that she she didn't just throw it together very quickly just so that it was done. Everything was made quality and with love. And that's how I want to live my life. And it wasn't always about money. She didn't spend a lot of money on things because that wasn't really important to her. But she did spend a lot of time on things. And... That is kind of how I want to be. So going forward into 2022, I really want to focus on those things and just things that make me happy and my family happy. So I don't know if you can see right there, I have a puzzle going because puzzles actually make me happy. And I have a few puzzles that I've had for over a decade, well over a decade, and I never have had time to do them, or I just never made the time. So now whenever I even just spend, you know, 20 minutes a day working on it, getting a few pieces here and there, and I really do enjoy that, and I mean, my house seems like it's a disaster almost all of the time. I have a little tornado behind me, I'm doing everything I do. So that's a little bit hard to keep up. Um, and motivation to do things. Um, I've been watching uh, one, of, one of my newest favorite YouTubers. I haven't been watching her long, but I actually really enjoy her videos. She is Mean Queen Super Scrimper. I believe she's in England, and she's very, very funny and humble and I really enjoy watching her because she does a lot of DIY basically all DIY she's vegetarian strictly vegetarian and she's a single um, older woman and I just I really enjoy her she makes me laugh and smile the whole time while I'm watching her and she has a lot of great ideas and has given me like this the sheet that I had I have a box of things that I we have been decluttering we got rid of 10 boxes of things so far and now I, we're starting another box but I threw in this old sheet um, it's actually a duvet cover but instead of getting rid of it it is quite old and worn down and no one can no one would probably pay for this so what I'm going to do instead is tear it up into strips and make it into a rug or she actually made these fabric bowls and they looked really cool so I kind of wanted to try doing that it seems really relaxing and a very frugal pastime it doesn't cost me any extra money and then you know I have something else I can add um, to my house or give it away and not just a raggy old um, sheet and um, 
yeah, so I've just been really digging deep down for motivation and inspiration and ideas on, you know, different ways to um, upcycle and reuse the things that I have in my house already, and I'm really trying not to spend any money. I haven't gone grocery shopping in two, over two months now, since before December, because we were barely home in December, so there was no need to go grocery shopping, and neither in January either. So, um, yeah, now I've been just eating out of the freezer and our pantry and fridge and just using all the things we have. Let me see, what else can I say about how things have been going here? Um, well, we've had a bunch of snow days, so Isabel has missed a lot of school. She's home, or she's at school today, which is nice, so I can make a video for you. She'll be home any minute now, though. And what else? Hmm, well, I, how about you guys? How, what did you guys do for Christmas? And how are your New Year's going? What are some of your goals for this year. I know for me, I really want to get more organized and I want to be completely caught up on work so that as I get it, I can work on it and not feel stressed out about it. And I guess I just want to feel less stressed out, <laughs> which is why I want to get more organized and, you know, work as I go instead of you know, always having a pile of work to do. And I really want to have, I have a savings goal for this year, and I really, really am going to work hard to meet it. We've been working hard, you know, trying to save and make things and to try to sell them for extra money because I did lose a little bit of income this past year so I'm just trying to make that up so I can continue with my savings and yeah as well as going to be 16 this year I can't believe it but yeah this year she's turning 16 years old wow but I think I'm going to leave off there and I'm going to leave you off with this I have I kind of already said that I've been feeling pretty unmotivated this past little while. I don't know why. If it wasn't for my kids, I'd probably be lying in my bed in the dark. But I get up every morning and I make breakfast and lunch and supper. And sometimes that's all I can muster to do. And, you know, do little quick tidy ups. And if I can do that, then I feel a little bit accomplished for the day. But... I want to do more than that, so I feel that I might not be the only one that feels like that sometimes. So if you are also kind of like me and feel like that when you're home all the time, because I haven't really left the house in a couple weeks now, and I almost have this anxiety that to even step out of the house. I know it's kind of weird, so I'm going to force myself to go for a walk later, but don't, you're not alone, there's other people that feel that way, and just to get up, brush your hair, I hadn't brushed my hair in literally, I don't know, <laughs> maybe three days since I last had a shower, and my hair was completely ratted, and, you know, so I brushed it for you guys, so there you go, now my hair, I can put my hands through my hair, or my fingers through my hair, and not get caught, and yes, I'm just so thankful for you all, and if you're feeling down, just know that I am thinking about all of you, and I always send out prayers for all my YouTubers, or not YouTubers, but I guess people watching, even if I've never heard from you or don't know you, I'm always sending prayers out, so I hope that you are feeling good, and if you're not, I hope you do feel better, because things always do get better, and I care and love each and every one of you, and I hope you guys all have a frugabulous day, until next time.
Bye, and thank you so much for watching.